Hi everyone, uh, I made a video yesterday about uh, what Grattan Institute was proposing and here is more detail. This is how the Grattan Institute's proposed points test looks. Remember it is very important because Grattan Institute uh, is a policy think tank and the government pays very close attention to it. Last time they made a recommendation about reducing the duration of the 485 visas, the government pretty much within a couple of months announced that decision and the, the extension frame, etc. everything was cut and from 1st of July that is going to take effect. Now, this is what Grattan Institute is proposing. Very important, they are proposing the change in the age points test. So from 18 to 20 years, 95 points. From 21 to 29, uh, 29 years, we'll get 100 points for the age. And then after that, uh, applicants will keep losing five points every year until the age of 45 when the age points turn zero. Now currently, uh, 18 to 25 years get 25 points for, your, for the age, 25 to 33 get 30 points, and 35, 33 to uh, 40 they get 25 points, and then after that 15, and it remains at 15 until 45. Under the new scheme, people who turn um, 40, they will be the biggest loser, but uh, they because they will keep losing points until they turn 45. So this is a major change. For English, they are proposing 90 points for 8 plus and 45 points for 7 plus um, in IELTS. PhD, 60 points. Very importantly, they are now uh, proposing, uh, you know, more points for people with degrees from recognized well, you know, top 20 uh, universities. So such as somebody doing a bachelor degree from very good universities such as Oxford, Cambridge, or uh, you know any other 45 points for that. And any other bachelor degree will get 30 points. Under the current system, you know the current system doesn't uh, differentiate between a bachelor degree from Oxford uh, and a bachelor degree from any other college. So yeah, certificate three will get you 15 points. Occupations, again, skill assessment in any um, occupation that is on skill level one, two, or three will be required at the time of invitation. But so work experience requirements are changing. Uh, applicants, according to Grattan Institute, applicants who have at least two years of work experience in the nominated occupation uh, should only be able to get points. And that too in skill level one or two. So, and the points should be same for Australian work experience and overseas work experience. So if someone has a skill level one occupation and they have two years of work experience, they'll get 50 points. Someone working in a skill level two occupation with two years of work experience, whether in Australia or overseas, will get 15 points. No points for skill level three work experience. It's very, very strange. And additional thing, they are also proposing people uh, earning high income. So anyone earning $120,000 per year will get 90 points if, if they have worked at least one year or if they have a job offer for at least one year. Uh, $105,000 per year, 70 points. $90,000 per year, 50 points. So you can see this. Community credential language, um, or also known as NATI, they're not talking about abolishing it. They're proposing that uh, it, it be given 20 points. They are talking about, they are recommending that professional year and regional study points should be, uh, should be abolished. Partner skills, very important. Currently, under the current system, if a partner has six each in English, they get five points. If they have seven each in English, they still get five points. If the partner has eight or nine each in English, the main applicant still gets five points from this. Now, under this new proposal, it will differentiate between better English. So if someone has excellent English, which means eight plus, uh, the main applicant can get 60 points for partner's English. If the partner has at least seven, then the main applicant get 40. The partner's qualification is also being recognized. If the partner has at least uh, a bachelor degree or higher, 30 points. If the partner has a trade qualification of certificate three or above, then 15 points. Single applicants will automatically get 90 points. So friends, uh, Grattan Institute is, is uh, proposing this uh, radical change, I will say. Um, it may be fair for some, but not so fair for others, particularly for Certificate 3, Trade, occup trade Occupations, etc. Tell us what you think about it. My name is Shimshir. If you need any uh, guidance or uh, any consultation, you can contact us at bajraimmigration.com. Thank you.